Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to an episode of Raft. This is just to cap off the series. Now, I was planning on making a huge Raft and making it really nice on the Survival Series, but after about three hours and only getting a little bit of wood in order to make a few planks, I thought, okay, I'm not doing this. <laughs> so here we are on creative mode and I reconstructed my Raft and this is pretty much what I had in mind. I was able to do a lot more with creative mode, so this is like my ideal Raft. So Let's go ahead and get started. So down here, we have our engines. So we've got six different engines just along the bottom. We also have our water supply and our pipes. And I was able to make this anchor here. This is the advanced anchor. And I fed the pipes through the sides and up to their destinations using some um, ceilings, I guess. I would put a ceiling, put a pipe on it break the ceiling and then the pipe would hover and then I was able to make it go up and down that way. I have a few little ramp areas here so I can get out easily to get to the islands and try to cover up the outside with the pipes with a little bit of a curtain here. I thought that looked quite nice. Kind of mixed it up with some of the leaves. And then I have two ladders on either side to go up to the main deck. And here we have our navigation equipment. So we have our monitor here, which is not connected. I didn't put the antennas, but I could if I wanted to. But once you complete the story, I guess this is kind of useless unless you're looking for islands. Other than that, we have our controls here for forward, backwards, anchor, and then to stop or start the engines. Our steering wheel, obviously, our sail. And through here... I wanted to make this a whole bunch of storage area, so tons of storage, more than we probably need. We have a few of these advanced biofuel refineries, and I like that you can connect these with pipes. And I have these connected here towards these. So it goes down there, so basically here, let me show you. Here's my... So it goes down here, and then it kind of loops around to over here to where the uh, tanks are. And it also goes to the engine. So when we put biofuel in, it should not only supply the engines, but also fill up this. And whenever I hover, hover, uh, hover over this thing, it says place a raw potato. So because of that, I made a potato farm here. So just a whole bunch of potatoes. Again, I did the same with the water, kind of fed it through the bottom, but all the potatoes you could ever want. And then on this side, if you can hear our kind of ASMR we got going, we have our bees and our honey. Uh, this way, from what I understand, if you put a tile above it, like two tiles above the flowers, the seagulls can't get them. I don't believe they can fly in right here, but I'm not sure. But there's our bees. I'm not sure if that would work in practice, but I'm pretty sure it would. I realized I didn't have any smelters, so I made some smelters just in this hallway. It's a big hallway, so why not? And then on the end here, some turbines with a whole bunch of batteries. Went ahead and splurged for the advanced batteries since they're free on creative. I thought, why not? We have a upper deck here, and I like the way I made this with the lanterns and the curtains. I think that looks pretty good. Flags, obviously. So this will lead us up here to our animals. Again, fed some water through here so it can water a patch of grass. Obviously, it's not going to get the whole thing, but that's enough for them to eat. So we got our animals here. We got some plants out in front, some more flags. Let's go inside. Little study area here. Over here we got our bathroom, some shelves, bathtub. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. And I can do, what is it? Here we go. Nice. So bathtub, curtains, windows. We can see out the, the windows if we want to while we're bathing. If not, we can close it for privacy. Also a toilet, same thing here. I didn't paint this back. I painted this before, but I liked it. The woods color. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old fashioned. So we got some wood here. Can use the bathroom as well. That's weird. Okay, I faced the wrong way. Whatever. <laughs> now I'm stuck. There we go. Now I'm not stuck. And now we could put it the right way, I suppose. I guess he's left handed. See, I would imagine the toilet paper's on the right side, so I can grab it with my right hand. Anyway, 
Over here is our bedroom. Pretty empty. I didn't know what else to put in here, really. <laughs> and then kitchen again. Lots of storage for lots of food. I forgot to paint that back. And then we have a little kind of patio out here with some couches. Nice little dinner table here for two. A bar with the juicer and some chests to put the drinks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if I was to actually spend tons of hours in the game collecting each little plank that came my way and very, very slowly crafting my raft, I imagine it looks something like this. This is kind of what I would like. It looks like a ship. It is efficient. It's not over, but not overkill, but it's uh, it gets the job done. It's got everything you could ever want. So yeah, that'll be the end of the Raft series. We completed the final chapter in the last live stream. If you haven't seen the series and you want to play it long, go ahead and check it out. It is a lot of fun. One of the better survival games, and it just finished the story mission. So very, very good game. And it's on sale right now during Steam Summer Sale. But if you're watching this in the future, it might not be. However, I'm sure it will be again eventually. But I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.